five-foot wingspan biplane kite to test their idea for control. And they developed a system called wing warping, where they literally would twist or warp the wings in opposite directions to be able to control the balance of the airplane. In addition to actually building the airplane itself, the other critical technical component of their work was their development of a successful wind tunnel. They didn't invent the wind tunnel. What the Wright brothers did was to design a set of instruments to give them a specific piece of data with which they could design their airplane. And that was revolutionary. Today, we still use wind tunnels in the same way. Each successive glider design and each successive year that they experimented, they started to develop answers to all of these questions of control, propulsion, structures, aerodynamics, all the elements that would make up the system. By the end of 1903, they head back to their tried and true test site of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. On December 17, 1903, 10.35 a.m., the world's first airplane lifted off the beach for a 12-second, 120-foot flight. And the fourth flight was the real significant one. It lasted 59 seconds and covered 800...